Well, hello everyone. In our scripture passage for today, we read from the prophet Micah, what does the Lord require of you? Do you know what the word require means? I'm sure you do. It refers to when someone needs or expects you to do something. You might think of things like assignments at school or chores at home, things that teachers or parents might require of you. But today, let's think of a fun example. Imagine that you got to go to a carnival with lots of games and rides. They have requirements too. For example, rides might have a height requirement that you need to meet so that you can ride safely. And most of the games have their own unique requirements if you want to win the prize. For example, to win a stuffed animal, one game might require you to make a certain number of baskets in 30 seconds. Another game might require you to drop all the balls into the buckets before time runs out to get a small toy. Or maybe you need to make a ring land on the top of a bottle, or push a button so that a light stops at just the right time to get a bunch of tickets. Each game has its own requirements, and if you meet them, something good happens. But maybe it sounds a little strange to hear that God has requirements for us. We know that God gives us his love and salvation through Jesus as a free gift that we cannot earn or buy. So how can God have requirements? Well, it's true that we cannot earn or buy God's love or salvation, but that does not mean that God does not ask us to do anything. When God saves us and gives us the Holy Spirit, God wants to live our lives differently than we did before. So what does God require of us? What does God want from us? Well, in our scripture passage for today, we read that God requires us to act justly, which means to make sure that everyone gets treated fairly. God wants us to love mercy, which means to treat people kindly and to forgive others even when they make a mistake. God wants us to walk humbly with him, which means to make time in your life every day for God and to do things God's way. And when we do that, what prize do we get? Well, God does not give us a stuffed animal or a cheap toy like at the carnival. Instead, we will get to experience the peace and joy of God's kingdom in our lives, and we will start making things right for others in the world too. And I hope that helps you to understand our scripture passage just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone.